My name is Meg Hitchcock, and I'm at Brick Rotunda Gallery in the Mystics Show, which runs through April 28th. So I work with um, uh, sacred texts of all traditions, and um, I, really the only prerequisite I have is that the book calls itself the Word of God, and I consider it a sacred text. And so I basically, I cut up one sacred text, and I create another one with it. So I'll create, um, I'll cut a passage from the Bible, and with that I'll cr create a passage from the Quran, for example. So this piece is called uh, Revelation, or it's called the Throne, the Book of Revelation from the Quran. And I've cut, uh, I've created the Book of Revelation, which is the last chapter of the Bible, the last book of the Bible. And um, I cut the letters from the Quran. Um, so it's each letter, each letter is four cuts, two vertical and two horizontal. So it's, it's pretty tedious work, but I get into a flow and it's, it's very meditative. And by that, I don't mean it's always blissful. Sometimes it's blissful and sometimes it's hellish, but um, it's, it's just what I do. <laughs> Whether I'm enjoying it or not, I just keep going. Um, and I work for hours at a stretch. Um, in this particular piece, it, it starts at the top. It's a continuous line of type. There's no spaces or no punctuation because I'm trying to discourage a literal reading of the text. Um, I don't expect anyone to sit in front of this and read it. I've tried and it's pretty, pretty much impossible. So it just weaves back and forth, upside down, right side up, um, until the end. <laughs> There's 22 chapters. And then in the center, I have an Islamic mandala, which is um, a verse from the Quran called the Ayat al-Kursi, um, or the throne verse. And it's a beautiful, beloved prayer of Muslims, which um, is a prayer about the throne of God. And I cut, for that, I cut the letters from the Bible, and I repeated it over and over. So that's one piece. This is my largest piece to date, um, and probably my most ambitious piece, because I started it in 2009, and I worked on it for three or four months, put it aside, because <laughs> it's just, it's pretty heavy to work on, uh, psychologically heavy. And then I went back to it a year later, and I worked some more, and then I finished it this year, in 2012. So you can see from the top to the bottom, the, the top is, is more yellow than the bottom. And there's this really irritating line in the middle. It's irritating to me. No one notices it but me, but that's because this was from 2009, and this is almost three years later. <laughs> so um, this has a, a good history to it. And if you go over here, so this piece is called The Satanic Verses. And, um, Obviously, it's a mandala, it's a geometrical. Usually, I work very free form and I let the letters control where they want to go. But every now and then, I like to do something just to break it up. And so, um, this one is the book by Salman Rushdie, uh, The Satanic Verses, um, he, which got him in a whole lot of trouble. I've cut the letters from that no novel to create a chapter from the Quran called Repentance. And um, so that's what this is. I, I start on the outside is a piece, the, the first chapter of the Quran is the exordium. Uh, it's a very short chapter. I repeat that over and over on the outside, that the letters for that are cut from the Bible. And then here it starts in a, just one continuous line of type from the satanic verses. And um, in the middle, I pile it up and create some depth. Um, I'm not really trying to, it's not the purpose of my work to try to convince anyone to believe one thing or believe another, and I have no bias as far as religion goes. Um, I actually really don't care what a person believes. I just, um, I'm really interested in taking uh, all the religions and looking at the common denominator, rising above the particulars, and looking at um, what God is to people, if God even exists. I, I have no problem with atheism. I think that's also a wonderful thing. But I, I, I think what's interesting to me is, is the, um, the need, the common human need, no matter who the human is, to reach outside of um, our experience to something higher. And it's the reaching that really interests me, that we all have this need to um, reach outside of this existence, because this is, existence is incredibly painful. And it's also incredibly joyful, but it's just that the human experience is full of a lot of complexity. And so is religion. Go ahead. This piece is called Shunya. Shunya is the Sanskrit word for emptiness. And um, 
the, is, the text is the uh, Bhairava Tantra, which is a tantric text, ancient tantric text. And I cut the letters from the book of Deuteronomy, from the Torah. Um, and it starts at the bottom. It's a conversation between Shiva and Shakti about the nature of existence. And it weaves all the way to the top and ends up here. And uh, again, there are no spaces, no punctuation. I don't want to encourage anyone to read it. And um, in, in my text, I also weave in my own personal prayers and meditations. And um, you know, you'd only find them if you sat down and looked for them. But I, I like to weave some of my own um, thoughts and meditations into the work. Um, these interesting little shapes that people think that I've so cleverly made, they just make themselves. I don't, I don't try to make them. I'm just following this line of type when I go back and forth, and people say, wow, that's so great how you do that. It's like, I don't. <laughs> Especially on the other one, those satanic verses, I don't really make those shapes. They really, they make themselves. Um, and like at the end, this sort of had the shape of a dancing, um, amorphous form. And that's also just a sort of a happy accident. So it kind of looks like an emptiness dancing, is how I like to look at it now. As far as the plant plotting out of it, um, I get lucky because I'm getting better at judging that this text is going to fit in this amount of space. I really sort of lucked out here. There have been other texts where I didn't get quite so lucky that I, I um, reached the edge of the page, and <laughs> so, so I had to stop it short, and I, I felt like there was, it was incomplete because it didn't include all the text. All right. My name is Meg Hitchcock, and I'm at Rick Rotunda Gallery in the Mystics Show, which runs through April 28th.